Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. As you can see from the title, today's video is a detailed walkthrough on setting up pre-orders in Shopify. If you saw my very brief overview video that I did, I did promise this video to you guys. So today I am going to be showing you how to set up a pre-order in the Shopify app on your phone. You can do it on the go. You can do it at a coffee shop. It's super easy. It takes two seconds. And I'm gonna show y'all exactly step-by-step step how to do it. This video is helpful for you at all. Please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment if it was helpful. Share with a friend who might also find it helpful and hit that subscribe button. Turn on the bell notification so you know when I post. I think pre-orders are a great idea if you're a new business or you don't know how much inventory to order. That's pretty much why I did mine. My store wasn't open yet. It's actually not opening until this Friday, August 28th. I was posting myself wearing one of my items and everyone was asking when they can order. So I was like, let me not miss out on this money and go ahead and open it up. So pre-orders would be a great fit for you so you don't really come out of pocket when you're ordering the inventory. And also it helps you as a new business because you don't always know exactly how much to order of each item. So with that being said, let's get into how to set it up. So first thing you're gonna do is start in the Shopify app and go to the products tab. And as you can see, I already have a product set up here. This is a dummy product, so I don't have everything set up, but if you're listing this regularly, you would already have your pricing and all that ready. So I put pre-order in the title. You wanna avoid as much confusion as possible. So I always add it to the title or I would add it to the title to avoid any, I didn't know it was a pre-ordered item situations. So just save yourself the trouble. This is not something you wanna to try to be gimmicky or try to just get the orders in and not tell the customer it's gonna ship at a later date. So make sure your customers are fully aware that this is a pre-ordered item. It will not be available until a later date. Once it's back in stock, it will be shipped then. And if you do have an idea of when the item's gonna ship to you or when you're gonna have the item in stock, if you have the exact date of that, that's even better. So maybe put that in the description as a bonus. And shipping's really tricky right now, so none of my inventory has come on time. So if you add the shipping date, add give yourself about three to four days as a cushion just in case it doesn't come on time say it's coming back into stock on september 1st give yourself maybe three to four days from that just to be safe even up to a week and if it comes earlier and it ships earlier your customer is going to be happy so that's my tidbit on that but really you're okay with just having the description and just letting the customer know it's not in stock right now it's going to ship at a later date you'll receive your tracking number once it actually ships i have the item set up and if you did not watch my other video, I told you guys that setting up a pre-order is no different from setting up any regular item for purchase in your store. So the only thing you're gonna change, you see I have inventory zero available. In Shopify, you can set it to track the quantity, which that really doesn't matter in this case since the inventory is not there. Um, but the main thing you wanna focus on is allowing the purchase when out of stock. You're gonna switch that on and that gives the customer the ability to buy the item even though there's no inventory on your end. Now make sure you turn this off if you don't wanna keep doing pre-orders whenever the item is actually in stock or else you might run into some issues with your inventory later and you might run into some issues with your customers. But when you're doing a pre-order, allow purchase when out of stock is the only thing that makes it a pre-order, otherwise, it's just a regular purchase, okay? So <laughs> that's the main thing. And if you are a new store, you obviously wanna make sure your shipping is set up and you wanna make sure you have your prices set up because once they go to checkout, you don't wanna have to go hunting down shipping fees and all that. So you wanna make sure they're paying for everything as they typically would when they're purchasing from your store. And whenever the item's in stock, you've gone on and ship it out to them and they'll receive their tracking number through Shopify. I've already done my pre-orders, like I've already ordered everything, the customers are already receiving their orders, so I can't really show you guys how it looks, but basically, as people order, it's gonna say negative whatever, so negative five, negative four. I recommend doing a pre-order window versus just having it always be pre-orders. That's my personal opinion, so open it up on Friday, close it on Monday or Sunday, something like that, so you're able to put a close to it and order the inventory. Once your pre-order sale has ended or once you're done collecting pre-orders, you're just gonna go through Shopify, go through the orders, 
take note of the sizes and colors for each order that you need. I like to do it on pen and paper, I'm old school. And then you're gonna just go to your vendor and order the item. Rule of thumb for me is to order a few additional items on top of the pre-ordered items, just so I can have a little bit of stock on hand. You don't wanna just have it out of stock all the time. So that's my personal opinion. I like to have a few extra because once people see everybody posting their items and they didn't pre-order and they wanna order one, you wanna have it on stock and have it ready. You know, you gotta be ready for the money. And that's it. Once it's here, once you have the item in stock, Go ahead and start shipping. If you're familiar with Shopify, you know, once you start shipping, it's gonna send the tracking number and tracking information to your customer and you are good to go. That is how you set up a pre-order. I hope this video was helpful for you. Make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Comment if it was helpful, share with a friend that might find it helpful and hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you know when I post. Look how my fingers are. <laughs> I will talk to y'all soon. Wishing you much success in your businesses. Thank you for watching. Bye.